Nearly a hundred years ago, the great RMS Titanic came to rest at the bottom of the North Atlantic. More than 1,500 men, women and children were killed when the ship went down. To this day, much of her destruction remains mysterious. But there are clues hidden in the cold and dark. A torn and twisted wreckage still has a story to tell. Now, for the first time, a full-scale forensic investigation will tackle the case. An arsenal of high-tech hardware will perform a deep-sea examination. Pieces of Titanic will be dissected and analyzed. New techniques will reveal aspects of the tragedy never before witnessed or understood. Battling hurricane winds and hostile seas, investigators will work to unravel secrets nearly a century old. Titanic's true and dramatic story may finally be told as scientists uncover answers from the abyss. Some 300 miles off the coast of North America, in the dark waters of the Atlantic Ocean, a group of ships has come together at the Titanic site. Experts from the United States, Great Britain, Canada and France have convened with one goal. Their mission? To conduct the first full-scale scientific investigation of the Titanic disaster. If there's any opportunity to try out this innovative technology during the first leg... We don't really know at this moment the attitude of the ship when it hit the bottom. Surprisingly, the destruction of Titanic is still mired in myth and controversy. But this unparalleled team of investigators hopes to set the record straight. This is the questionable area right here. Immediately following the Titanic disaster, the world struggled for answers. Soon, a popular story emerged that seemed to explain everything. Titanic struck a mountainous iceberg. She sustained an enormous gash and sank in one piece, killing more than 1,500 people. For nearly a hundred years, this was the accepted account of what happened that tragic night. When Titanic's wreckage was discovered in 1985, the world was shocked to learn there was more to the story. The great ship was actually torn in two huge pieces. Her bow and stern separated by nearly half a mile. To this day, we still don't know how the ship broke and scattered across the sea floor. This group hopes to change all that. There's a tremendous amount left to be learned about the Titanic. Bringing these minds together, we should be able to come up with a pretty good answer to what happened, why it happened, and in what sequence it happened. To reconstruct the disaster, 
the team at sea will work with investigators on land. At the rear end of the bow. Together they will focus on Titanic's wreckage. A forensic approach likened to studying a corpse in a murder mystery. The word forensic um, immediately conjures up images of, of pathology labs and, and someone poring over cadavers. And, and to a certain extent, we're doing that. What we are doing is looking for signals and signs and often very small pieces of information to build the bigger picture. Four major events surrounding the destruction of Titanic are still shrouded in uncertainty. What is the true extent of the iceberg damage? Scientists now suspect it's a series of small slits, not a 300-foot gash. But can they prove it? They also know that Titanic broke into pieces the night of the disaster. But how did this actually happen? And why? One of the biggest mysteries is what occurred when the ship left the surface. How did the bow survive the two and a half mile descent, relatively unscathed? to utterly destroy this part of the ship. Ship's heading is 150. All right, Kurt, 100 up. 100 up, I got 100 up. One in. To answer these questions, the investigators divide the wreck site into two fields of operation. The crew aboard Ocean Voyager will concentrate on Titanic's bow which lies more than 12,000 feet below. To reach their target, they'll deploy the Magellan 725. Magellan is a remotely operated vehicle, or ROV. For this mission, Magellan is equipped with state-of-the-art underwater cameras. Kirk, if you can stand in front of the camera, I can get a flesh tone off you. Set this up. That's good. Once Magellan reaches the Titanic site, its powerful lenses will become an investigative research tool. Magellan will be able to get a very close-up look at the whole structure at various pieces of debris down there and be able to pick up what we hope are a lot of visual clues. We'll get detail like nobody has seen before. To launch Magellan to Titanic requires a 15-ton crane and an eight-man crew. The robot is attached to the ship by a cable thousands of feet long. Magellan will receive instructions and transmit live images through this umbilical cord. Great, you got me all pulled up. I'm all stopped. Let me know when you're close. We're close. Bring your head, 90 right, 100 full up. Getting wet, Kurt. Okay, let me know when you want hydraulics. Hydraulics up. Hydraulics are on. Pull that together a little bit. Troy, start working on the depressor. Yeah, get that sling out. As Magellan now fights the current on its three-hour trip to the site, a half mile away, the crew aboard Nadir prepares its mission to the exploded stern. Little is known about this part of the wreck. <laughs> 